I just got the first box all taken apart and now I'm ready to start marking for the holes that need to go in uh, to the new box. So here's my game plan. I want the 12 volt and the computer to be up, uh, up high here. The reason for that, I want to bring AC in on the side. It comes in right here and then it's going to go right back out. So I wanted this on the left hand side. And then 12 volt power will come over here and eventually 12 volt power will actually come out of the sides over here as well. So 12 volts on this side, 120 goes on this side, and there'll be a bunch of sensors that also eventually come in on the side. So now, marker, I got them lined up. And the marker's too fat. <laughs> well, marker's too fat. It's not a fat marker, it's just big boned. Don't feel bad, Mr. Marker. All right, I need to go find a smaller one, a Sharpie. Enter the sock Sharpie. And mark that one. Then, in order to program this device, we learned it the hard way on the last one. We're actually going to have the dongle here, and we're going to take the dongle, and it's just going to come straight out the bottom. So, that would be somewhere right in there. Oh. Take those out. So, we have our holes marked, and boom. Take it to the drill. Oh wait, almost forgot. We gotta mark the relays. Good catch, guys. Good catch. The relays. Okay, so they actually sell banks of relays. This is, has four on it, and remember, it depends on what lane we're on. Uh, so normally we'll have four for lanes three and four, and then for lanes one and two, they'll actually be five. I got that right. So we'll add one of the existing relays that we had onto it to make a bank of five. I guess we might as well start with a more complicated situation. Put that in. Put that back in. Back in. I have enough space to make everything fit. So then your 12 volt, everybody goes out that way. All right, wire is just right in the way. Of course. Of course it is. Okay, well I'm going to fuss around with this and then uh, I'll get it all drilled up and next time you see it uh, we'll start putting in uh, the offsets so we can mount all this. Okay, I just got the holes drilled. I couldn't drill this one because I don't have enough distance in here, uh, enough clearance to get it in the drill press. So I'll just drill that one when I go out. That's where the cable will come through. But all the offsets are in. Now it's time to tighten stuff down. Alrighty, we got everything mounted in there. Came out real nice. Like I said, this cable, we're going to drill a hole down through the bottom here. And that cable will come down off that side to help keep it from coming over to the 12 volt bus. So these are the relays that will control the valves on the aquaponic beds. That's what we're putting in right now. Uh, so we're going to be running AC power in, come up here, 12 volt power, come down and ding, ding, ding. And then 12 volt power will come over here and power the board as well. And then AC power will come out and go over to the AC power relay, but we're not building that right now. I got the box for it uh, 
but I don't have all the relays and everything for that yet. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start wiring this thing up. Well, it was a late night last night. Got in bed right about five minutes before midnight working on this bad boy here. And uh, let me show you what I got done. We learned some things last night. Had to be fixed. So everything's mounted. So kind of getting you cut up here. Here's the uh, 12 volt power supply, the mega, the control unit. Remember, this is going to be going through the bottom. Uh, and then we have our relay set. And the new thing that you didn't see last night is this uh, circuit board down here at the very bottom. You see that? And what this circuit board is, is it's a ground bus and a 5 volt bus uh, to connect everything to. So all the servos run off of 5 volts and rather than just having a ton of uh, splice wires like what we've done in the past, this time I actually built the circuit board. And then the ground bar is the same purpose. There's lots of things that require ground and rather than splicing wires all over the place, I just created a bus for it. I got the 5 volt regulator there with the capacitors on it. Uh, for those that always remind me that I forget them, last night I didn't. And uh, yeah, so I got that all mounted and built in there. Everything's mounted on standoffs. So everything should be heat, as far as heat goes, shouldn't be a problem. And, um, and they're not going to fall anywhere. And there you go, see. So today what I need to do is I need to run the DC plugs out of this. So DC plug, there's your DC plug right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those have got to come over here and go out the side. And we need five of those or four of those depending on which lane we're on. And I think I'm just going to drill five on all of them. That way, if I wanted to, I could ex expand or what have you. So. Uh, Anyway, let's get oh, started. Before I forget, uh, last night I also realized that I shouldn't bring AC in and then AC out. What I should do is I should bring AC in to the 120 volt uh, box and then run AC from there as a junction into here. So that will make it a lot cleaner and you won't have a junction inside the low voltage box. You'll just have the main power coming into the DC uh, power. So uh, thanks to everyone who continually reminds me that I should not have high power as little high power as possible with the low power. So, there we go. I just got done uh, putting everything together. Let me show you here. So we have the power unit, the controller, the relays, and then the, uh, the bus bar here. Bus board, I should say. The bus board, there we go. I had to do custom cable ends here, and then just soldered everything in place to the DC plugs, ran them into the relays, and everything is actually hooked up for right now. Right, yeah, we got power going here. We got ground going here. So the board will turn on. Got our USB cable coming out the bottom here. Have our AC power coming in. And then that goes up into here. So we'll strip the wires, shove them up through here, crimp this down, and then run them right into place here. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So. The next thing we'll end up doing, uh, not today, but in the future, is we'll actually connect all the relays that'll come out this side and head over to the uh, 120 volt box. So there'll be this thing we'll control. It'll have, uh, we'll need to take 5 volt, we'll need to take ground, and we'll need to take the signal and run wires up through here over to the 120 volt bus where we're going to have, what is it, 10. 10 relays uh, that need to be over there. So that will allow us to control all the lights and the motors and such uh, for the aquaponics and for the microgreens. So uh, I need to build three more of these now. So that's going to be fun. Get that done. And then I get to write the code form. And oh, the piece that's missing, the Wi Fi unit hasn't shown up yet because I had to reorder it. So I can still program all this and it will still work even without the Wi-Fi chip, but it won't be able to dump any data or be controlled by the server. Uh, you'll have to control it all locally here. So uh, we don't want that. We want to actually have everything controlled by the server. Uh, so that should show up later today and it should be just a plug-in. At least that's what I'm hoping. So 
That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. I'm going to build three more of these. Out.